Hello everyone, this is Holden, her eyes are weird. And... Okay, that's it, sorry, I'm just trying to... Um, today we're gonna play Civilization Revolution. I know this game isn't exactly the most, you know, older than some of the other games I play, but... It's a fairly niche game, I guess you could say. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a niche game, it sounded really quiet, but... And this is recorded on my Xbox One. So, just gonna actually... Start with that. Just go with the Romans. Might not explain a whole lot, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Actually, this is a terrible spot. Um, should try to move, I guess. Get her with it. Okay, that's a walk-in opportunity, so I might actually be able to do this, yes. So what I mean by walk-in is just, um, if you have the opportunity to walk straight into someone's city, usually their capital, then it means you get a free city. Because how, I guess you could say, uh, city defense, cities work in this game, is that, uh, see how right here there's no... There's like, it's just a little platform, there's nothing in the center, except for like Stonehenge. Usually, if there's a flag in a city, it means there's someone there protecting it. But if no one's protecting it, you can just walk right in. And just like that, free city. I mean, science-wise, this is pretty terrible, but... Okay, yeah, this is atrocious, but, um, hopefully I can get a trading post. Don't see anybody up there. This is a great mountain range, though. I'm definitely gonna want to use that. Meet the Mongols, though. That's scary. That's my capital. Get her with it. I mean, I guess in all, in all, I probably could rush to try to get a trading post here. I mean, it would take forever, though, so I'm just gonna do that instead. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do another capital walk in. I can get a lot of gold and rewards, but I'm not gonna be able to take advantage against the AI. I'm gonna leave my unit there so I'm not losing, you know, a unit. I'm gonna send this warrior up here just so I can uh, get that before the Mongols might have a chance. Because the AI can pretty much effortlessly take any barbarian village 
<laughs> I've never seen a day AI lose to a barbarian. I've seen them lose like one unit, and I've not, I haven't seen them uh, like go down to one third of a unit or anything like that. <laughs> so you might hear my controller click and from what I've tried to do with my recording setup there's not too much I can do about that so I'm sorry if it gets to be a bit of bother it looks like I've met almost everybody I got the Chinese I can pin the Chinese in a corner which is good They've probably got archers in there and everything, but let me go see if there's gold right here. Oh, they're just gonna sit there. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Get some settler production out early. Because one of the things with the Romans is that you get a uh, republic for free, so you can already get uh, settlers at one population instead of two. Really early, and it's nice. I doubt it though. Okay, that's coal. Yeah, I need to wait till I get a city on the coast before I think even think about putting a uh, galley out. Although I do wish I could get a um, trading post there, because that would give me three trade. And then the production would come along later. Okay, cool. Just gotta fortify them myself. Let's get on that hill, get the f extra attack bonus. Go right there for the science so I can finish alphabet this turn. Okay, the 10 gold wasn't there. I think they took the tile that had the 10 gold on it because I can't. And I don't want to declare war on them just to. Is there any fish around here? Actually, I might need that just for iron working so I can. Not iron working. Not general defense either, but I'm trying to think of what I would. Because I want to go straight for Code of Laws, although I need to pick up some extra text on the way. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Expo, uh, tile gold. Veteran <laughs> status. Free, ooh, free horseback riding. Second, nice. I feel like I want to leave a warrior here just to keep an eye on the Chinese. To see if they like to expand anywhere. Or I might backtrack it. Let's go over here. Is there anything down there? Ooh, okay, there is. Awesome. They're going for my spy, which is interesting. Hmm. Send the warrior this way. So there's something more over here. 
So I don't want to settle there right off. The Chinese still have some culture, so I could go straight toward. I could park right here, though that's way too close to the capital and I mean I gotta die, but I don't want to risk culture flipping. I could put it right here and that would be better. Get a courthouse and here. Get that. Although, if I think if I do it right here, that's four, and then I get two anyway. So right here would be a better spot. This one has access to the coast, so I want to get that one. But I have a settler in the way, or that in the way, so I can just kind of... I might have to go around. I may as well meet everybody at this point, although I want to try not to. Attack. So I'm actually gonna go march on this one instead of infiltration, just for the extra movement speed. And do stuff like that. And then use my spy and wait for them to get. Um, So I could even put a city right here. It's only two right there would be better. Do I want to risk that? Yeah. I will. Why not? All right, there's the other person. Okay, I do want to put a city down there. That should be enough attack. And I do have extra food. Go stand right there. Let's get back over this way. I can rush this for a hundred gold, but the problem is I also need um gold to rush that arms. And that will be a good science boost and it saves me the time from actually having to uh He has no... I was really hoping that would just give me a horseman. <laughs> but I think you need bar build, queer bar build just for that. That would be great if I could just do that. Alright, let's get riding. So let's go up here. Clear these out. This has a one tile, or is it, I think this game calls it regions technically, but it's like a one, I guess, tile wide. Um, I could sell that spy and get free currency on the economic victory meter or I could try to steal the gold and go that way there we go I don't know how much I'm going to be able to actually use the city for settlers 
mostly do my concern that it's right there and if I could get like a temple in here to block them off or even a wonder then that is good enough but I do need um I want to get currency though actually so we'll just delete it wait the turn out and then rush things because that is going to be very annoying Still free spy. I'll send it up here. I figure out when's the right time to start pumping settlers out. I this is annoying me a lot. Hi Timber, you want to get up here? That's a yes. Never ask a cat that question, I guess, because they will just say yes all the time. settlers actually just do that I'm gonna need to be galley at some point could try to do it now and see if I could sail around Karakorum or even Beijing Could even get horsemen but that's an archer army i'm pretty sure so there's no way i can knock it down Galley, I'll look at these settlers out. And it's usually the AI gets mad at me for mass expanding because they just, I don't know, the AI in this game just need any excuse to go to war. And they'll pretty much take whatever you give them. I guess the best way to say is if something could be wrong with what you're doing, then something is wrong. Or something. I don't know. How to. Oh, I could have rushed that. I just spent more gold on something I didn't need to. Oh. Nam -nam. Oh. Great lighthouse. Uh, see if I can get around in Beijing really quick here. Although I wish I could get rid of this warrior. Because they're waiting for the capital to not have anyone in it so they can just walk in. And due to how combat kind of works in this game, you really can't risk to potentially. Uh, killing a unit because if you lose the battle they could just walk right in and you wouldn't really be able to do much about it so well the Chinese are here so I don't think I'll be able to get literacy unless I go for it like right now 
but since they're coming up, I might have to get my units out sooner than later yet, Archer Army. Plus, I can't really get a warrior over here right now because they're on the way. They only have three technologies, so they haven't entered the next era. So there is a chance I can... Um, Get in there, maybe. I can just use this warrior to get up there, too, anyway, so. Alright. It's gonna be four turns, anyway, so. Let's do that. Actually, I want to get literacy done, and then start cranking out, um, uh, wonders. Not wonders. Um, settlers. I'm surprised they haven't found that. Did Mongolia just build one warrior and just camp on their main city? Because they have no culture, or not culture, sorry, science being produced. Also, it's like something really small. Oop, I didn't mean to deploy that unit. Alright, so nothing special here yet. Although, great cities to camp out on for the islands. Especially if it's like a one tile uh, island. Then, if you have a good defense in there, like no one can get in, and it's amazing. Like, I just get like a modern infantry army that has one unit, uh, like, have to be veteran. And you don't have to worry about that at all. Like, invasion at all. Well, almost. So there's the horseman I could have used, like, a while ago. Alright, good. I've got literacy first. Let's go iron working, who needs pottery, right? There's one thing I've learned is that you don't need pottery. Or either that or pottery is the most important tech in the world and you should always get pottery, no matter what. No one's forcing me to say that. I might actually need to just get one something to produce it right there. Just so I can save more gold and speed it up a little here. Yeah, I'm working one turn. It's a good way to start. That's only two, but more production. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna put one there. Right here wouldn't be bad. I won't be able to get the. I think I could use get put a city here for the whale, but get three, two coal, aluminum. And then four unique science tiles of wood. Whoops. 
didn't one turn out working because I made a unit. Oh, thanks, China, I guess. Alright, cool. I also want to clear this because for gold and so Mongolia, yeah, he doesn't get a free city with this. Which is honestly, it's one of their downsides is getting. It's a good thing they can get free cities, but it's a bad thing because of like pl uh, placement. The city starts at one pop regardless. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, also, also you can't get any gold or any other rewards from it. It's always a city. So, you know, you might. Because you can get like maybe an arm if. Well, provided chance, you know, intervenes a little bit. You can get a free. Um, What am I thinking of? You could get a free, like, uh, army for a uh, horseman. Just entirely out of barb villages. And that's not, not saying that's why the Mongols are bad, you know. But it is an issue when all you can get is free cities and getting another reward would be much more useful to you in that situation than it would just be simply by, you know, uh, you know, just a free city. If it was two pop a city, then, you know, you probably wouldn't have to worry about anything, but one pop does hurt. It's kind of like a dark, I want to say a dark horse. But it's a it's a tough one to try to work with. Put one there. Put one there. So that's why I try to um. That's why I don't always play as the Mongols. I like the ability, but I say at the same time, it has a serious uh, issue with how it functions. Which could be that free city, but it's not a very good one, and it could potentially hurt you more down the road than it could help you. Is, I guess, the best way I can probably put it. <laughs> China got a, has a legion army right over there. That is a little concerning. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna declare war. I'm almost done with the Great Lighthouse. But I feel like I wanna just get a barracks and then block them off. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna brush that barracks. Let's get this warrior back over. I know it sounds weird, but I was sort of hoping for Tesla's peace ray. I could, um, you know, stick it out at him. Actually, I feel like I want to get a settle out of there and then get one out of here. So that way it's. I'm gonna have to have them slowly produce their own thing. I just don't like how China is already ready to attack. I think they're trying to explore, but it's just not going well for them. What else can I get while I'm. Ooh, free wall. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I notice that happens with a 360 emulator more often than anything else, that you just get disconnected for whatever reason.
and then it, you know, seems to stop the application just to tell you, that, because that's very important that it tells you. Hope my wall comes in Byzantine. Yes. Can't be culture flipped, free defense. Alright, good. Good. Yeah, we got archers in there. I need something to protect me from them. So this is the strategy I was referencing earlier. Is that... Um... I mostly heard it from another YouTuber, so I'm mostly going off uh, his word. Is that because of how the game... Because of how the game mechanics of how... You know, the science... In short, generally, if you can get out a lot of cities with access to science, you can effectively just have the sheer number of cities you have all produce a small amount of science, but it adds up to a large total. Is effectively how it works. So, you know. You want to try to get as many cities as possible. And have them be able to work the trade tiles, which are these, these little beaker ones up here. The ones with the changing icons. And then, you know, have those cities kind of dotted like this and all across the landscape. And be able to use that to propel yourself into the lead. And then generally, because you have just enough of a flexible military... To go around and kind of protect your uh, lands, that you kind of can almost almost run away with the game. I did have an online lobby get mad at me once for that, and I thought it was kind of uh, funny in a way because um, they said friendly game, and then uh, I had like. 10 cities in the time because the map wasn't exactly the greatest for expanding and get like seven cities or anything like that you know pretty uh average stuff i guess so i um i had a few cities out it wouldn't sound you know like a 20 or 30 city game uh nothing extreme like that and apparently someone declared war on me because of it like two people declared war on me and then Never got anywhere because I was England and longbow archers are really good. Because it's basically, you know, you have uh, pikemen before pikemen are even around. And that's always a good thing. So which is why sometimes even as England I just delay getting pikemen. So it doesn't replace the... Uh, um... What am I thinking? Sorry, I'm stopping here for a sec. I'm gonna get mathematics just for the free catapult so I have a free military unit. Yeah. Alright, hurry up and get that settler out. Let's get this cleared. Not finding any artifacts. They found none. Oh, yep. Free cult, free science, free pop. Alright, so I'm not gonna be able to. I can do that. But that's not gonna be very helpful. Probably better if I did that. Or even, you know, like that and try to rush the railroad. Because they're just going to sit there forever. They're going to try to explore forever. They might not explore forever. Oh, 
Not sure I'm building a Colossus here, but <laughs> a great lighthouse. Uh, explore a little. And actually, I feel like if I move this, I'm gonna threaten to declare war on me and get like a free jump on me. I'm gonna move that to steal their uh, steal the great builder down there. So now I definitely don't want to put a city next to them because they can um, get extra culture from that wonder and I'm not sure if I want to get Colossus right there or Colosseum wouldn't be bad if I'm being threatened or even build it uh, here. And just put it right in the Chinese face. But getting extra production here would be pretty good to start. Yeah. Actually, no, okay, hang gardens here. No, no, actually, you know what? Colossus. Because that one's got more access to science. I'm gonna try to get more cities out, and then I'll. just a ton of trees and I am not Germany everyone else is at 4 I'm at 13 sometimes I feel like if you spiral ahead more of the deity AI they don't seem to like get a huge tech jump as they you that you normally do and what I kind of mean by that is, um, I guess how do I put it? Like, I'm, okay, I'm at 13. Like, well, that's also right there. Arabia went from 4 to 9 techs in a single turn. I don't know what, and I'm assuming how the game partially does is that maybe if you, sometimes you don't have to research every tech, you can research techs ahead. Because I never researched pottery, but I can get Hagen Gardens, and Hagen Gardens requires pottery. So, you can kind of like backlog technologies, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense, but probably not. That is rubber I do don't, I don't want to stop over that. Right here would be the best one, I think, yeah. Either they're close to building it, or the AI does that thing where they look like they're gonna build it, and then they just switch off to something else. So that's 13, but I do want to put something there to, you know, at least make use of it. Alright, good. I am stealing that. So I guess I can try to go for a culture victory. Is what I'm gonna go for. Catch anyone's on there. Because yeah. Rome can do that really easy, but mostly so maybe it was not you know, forever long. Wow, they have so much land back here that's unopposed. Like if they could settle up here, grab some of this, and then 
just fill all this with cities. All right, China has 10. Uh, could even build catapults, just um, use that to smash any uh, Chinese forces. Because they're gonna declare war at some point. I know they are, but I just don't know when. Monarchy. I'm not liking this. So what can I put right here? I could put Shakespeare Theater and have that block the culture gain from there because that's already just spread and I don't like it. Uh, not junction of barracks. Let's see what I can get here. This would be pretty good. I've got a lot of desert tiles in my empire. Got one, like two right here. You know, these ones right here, this, and this could be an extra sea tile. Trade fair wouldn't be bad. Great library. I'm already ahead in tech, so it wouldn't be helpful. I don't have many buildings. I'm going to go for this. Actually, what, what can I research right now? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yep, because you know I have this. I could probably wait for navigation to get East India, but I figured something like that would be more useful now than waiting later. Yeah, Three turns. Yeah, it's like, it's like I started growing a little bit and didn't pay attention to it as much. That's a great spot for a city. If I get a boat, do it right here and just start going all the way across here. I have a boat right there, but, so, yeah. Let's see if there's anything on this island. Right here for the... just to get extra science. city up here and not right there 
probably gonna put one here instead of here. I don't know, it could be up there more evenly, but it won't change much now, so. Something's gotta be here. Oh, yes. Ark of the Covenant, all right. Oh, no. That's gonna be great for my culture. So I guess how Ark of the Covenant works is that it'll give you a temple in every city. And if that city already has a temple, it will get a cathedral. So it's really, really good for a, just a culture victory in general. Or just even getting good culture, so you don't have to worry about it, because all you have to do is... Um, just get it and save 40 production times however many cities you have. I'm gonna put the scientist in here. Because that city already has Colossus, so it doubles trade. And then I can. Um, we have to sail around here. No, Triple is here, so we'll get the bonus from religion. Could get the one from knights, though. University would get me into that. Not sure. Settles, I could settle right now and get it. I mean, not really right now, but I think I'll do it right there. Yeah, I mean, this boat would protect me even better. Let's go explore. I'll plant that city down couple more first so cities that can get extra food in their population and stuff like that would be able to uh uh cities that be able to get extra oh gosh demanding i make a tech choice there Of course they let me build it. It's like it's even funnier. Alright, that's amazing for science. Let's build a trading post. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, here they come. I just need one of these cities to get a set pump out a settler and I can put it into the boat and then go sail it over to uh Arabia. 
Although I'm gonna have to stop with the mass setting settling at some point, so I can get like democracy and get more science. I could keep going, it'd be pretty safe right now. I could put an archer, I just want to put it right there and just secure the area, but uh, I've got a better idea. They'll decor war me at some point. Let's get knights. What should we build? Oh, I could actually pump out two of them here. Bring that city down to two. Get one over here, and then keep settling on this area over here. But I'm just gonna get this now, actually. It's gonna take forever to unlock a tower. to go democracy and then just ditch the settler stuff a little early. Uh, no, I don't want to actually get that for excess gold. Send you over there just for defensive purposes. Don't see Atlantis yet. Oh, like I think I just want to get democracy just so I have the option to switch. that forced them out finally yeah. they'll just keep doing that and they're not going to enter and they're trapped at this point because I can easily trap them no university Republic forever.
Okay, it is over there. I just wanted to check over there to make sure I wouldn't miss it. So they didn't clear that out, but they have one here. That's weird. Do some fog busting over here. There we go. Alright, I want to get university now, and then wait next turn for Atlantis. Let's get this. Not the best right now, because I'm in the lead, but I guess it'll pick up any other techs I don't have. Alright, free wonder, I guess. <laughs> kind of weird how it's there, but... All right, now let's get steam power. I could research it right now, but I want to settle it. Uh, yeah, I could put it over here. All right, we'll have to do it right here then. But here's got, even though it has died, we've got more growth here. I don't know Arabia's power, I guess, over here. Yeah, I'll set it in here then. Get her with Put it right there, that take clears most of the fog up. Oops, excuse me. I feel like right here is not even that great because that's. I, mean, I could do that, but here would be more tiles. Yeah, let's do that instead. I'm actually gonna settle him here, swap that over. Alright, that's already it's at 50, that's why it's almost done. Yeah. So I could say you can go with public, because I get free um, pop now. Also, we'll trade fair, but I think even trade fair would be better in a city with more gold than this one. But I want to get that now while I have this check. Actually, no, I can just get the economic bonus. Actually, no, never mind. That'll take a while. There we go, six pop. It's a nice bit of science right there. I don't 
think they've really expanded. Or pretty much anyone for that matter. Other than the Mongols on this island. So I'm waiting for a railroad to come by and then I can take the city and turn it into a super city. I'm actually going to take that right now. I'll need more pop for that city. Yep, there it goes. They finally declared war on me. That's a good city. Yeah. Oh. Alright, um uh. Alright, let's see them decor or me. Here we go, railroad. Get her with it. Oh, that's a great place. I can only put one city on there, though. And that's a problem a little bit to me. You know, what am I going to do with this spot? Here would be a good spot, because I get all three trees. Courthouse could still let me get everything. Over here. I feel like I'm just getting just so they shut up. It works. Hope someone saw the irony in me giving that religion. Where's the irrigation? I feel like I could try to go to another city. Ooh, no they're not. Okay, good. I thought they would try to go to another city. So let's go back here. And just try to camp out over there, I guess, or something. I don't know. 
Not monarchy, you said irrigation. You ain't gotten that yet. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that's great. You want to retreat it on irrigation. Uh, hold the AI. To get industrialization, we get democracy. I don't want my cats watch those. Yay! Give me my soul, can you pet? There's my foot, buddy. There you go. Free city? I feel like I want to, yeah. That's on my camera. Apparently, whatever that was. No, buddy, don't attack that, please. Sorry, I had to police my cat here a little bit. There we go, looks like he's... Alright, there we go. Sorry, guys. Kitty. What's he doing? What's the cat doing? <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna select the democracy now. <gasps> I can get printing press for free, so I don't have to worry about it. I feel like I might stop settling just because I don't really have that much thunder, I guess, right now. There's not as many places as I'd like to settle that would could be done in a good time frame. That with democracy's two pop limit. Quit eating my cords, bud. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to get my kitty to not eat everything in sight. The jiggles. Oh, and she's there. He oh, no, no, no. See, so, yeah, this is also one of the other annoying things about this game, is that they will just declare war on you with no notice for absolutely no reason. Like it'll be some excuse, like you're too far ahead in tech, or some crap like that, or you're too powerful in this or that or whatever. It's not because you're gonna win a victory or, or for like cooperative reasons. It's like, oh 
And then we do this. <laughs> I hate that so much. I'm gonna declare war on you. Let's make peace. The second after. Uh, AI. What would we do without you? At this point, I don't think an extra library would do anything. I just want to add the gold to the treasury, but uh, I'm going for a culture victory, so I'm going to settle it in this city. In case you don't know what that was, my cat jumped in front of my screen. It's fine, I'll check the video later and you know see how much my cat jumped in front of my screen. <laughs> yeah, for some reason Arabia has one city. I don't know why, they just do. If you can explain that to me, that would be nice. Probably put another city over here, and then just. Oh wow, he has mathematics. What do you do? I could sell a lot of stuff to him. Also, it's funny if you look at his sword in the background. Sometimes it just flips around. Oh wow. That's a lot for some of this. Sure. Sure, democracy. And then banking. And then I'll stop after that. Get some free tech off this AI. Or free hold. And you're poor, so, yeah. Granaries appear everywhere. Byzantium will now grow a lot. Cities, I'll just sit on this. Uh, 
now. Sorry, that's the whole point of Great Pyramid is you can switch your government, and I just told it now. Right. There, yeah. It's funny how there's all these resources on the edge, which most of which you can't even get. Which I always think is hilarious. Alright, I'm trying to get more... Um... There we go. Let's do that. I don't want to grow at this point. I've already got the game in the bag. I'm not going for like a speed run. Uh, media. Let's get a temple, rush it for the because their culture border is getting close to mine, so I want to get some culture in that city to kind of win the culture war of those tiles. But this Roman ability is weird in my opinion. One that rewards you for expanding this late into the game. So it's a weird, it's a really weird one in my opinion. Yeah, why would you want to expand so late into the game? I guess is my way to think about that. I guess with the Romans, you can do it, and no one cares. Only 26, yeah. Could have done better, probably have some better RNG. It's a little harder when you have like the expansion packs installed to um, get like school Confucius, Seven Cities of Gold every single time. Although, like, the like, Court of Camelot, I think, is a pretty overpowered one because you can uh, get a free. Oh, networking, awesome. <laughs> but um, because the the knight, it's like the core to Camelot it can get you free knights, and having a that good of a power spike that early into the game is just not a good idea. Out of all the wonders you can get, it's probably the least balanced one in my opinion. Because it's basically you know like. Here's a, almost a free domination victory. You know, have fun. I can't get networking. Add a pop each city at 26 cities would be way more useful than just one city. So there we go. And I sailed all the way around the world, I guess, so. The getting university was good because I can get um, faster science gains to finish up the rest of the text here. Oh, let's get a temple actually. Alright, 
14. Some extra gold off all this, so. Yeah. Yeah, I want to put one there. Teams at twelve. Now get her with it. Because I have Magna Carta, which gives like courthouses free, uh, not free culture, but extra culture. That I can build more courthouses like that just to increase my power. My culture power, I guess. It's, it's from what I've discovered for courthouses, or for the Magna Carta effect, it's each courthouse effectively functions like a temple. So a temple is one culture per citizen. So with Magna Carta, your courthouses also produce one culture per citizen. And then that's affected by whatever modifiers are present. To my knowledge is how it works. And what I've been able to test. Free sub. I'll probably put that in the description too, at whatever point in the video this is. 1250 AD, it's actually a good marker, I can just use that as a baseline. And this little fun little trick right here, usually if you select the ice caps, they will start to, um, like the culture will expand on the ice. It's kind of hilarious. Oops, I'm gonna be my trophy room. Oh, you guys can see my trophy room now. I actually put a lot of work into this. Sort of. That one person back is really excited. I'll just settle these people for the culture victory point. The culture mile. I guess you could say milestones, I think it's a big, big, big word. That's how I would, I guess, describe it. There. Purely on food. Science. Combustion. Yeah, I could do that. Production. I want to put it here because I feel like I didn't want to just hit this tile, so I'm going to do it here anyway. It's not the most efficient.
Although I am trying to end it to this point too, so doing this doesn't exactly help, you know. <laughs> Alright, 16, so I have enough gold to... Actually, I'll just rush that anyway. Return it doubles your current gold return. Oh, cool. cathedral now. Let's go to factory. I know I have the production to produce it really fast, but I can just rush it with gold and not to worry about consequences. No, they're serious about war this time. Should I put my knight army in there? But I can already get there, no problem. How? I'm gonna get tanks soon, get so Whoa. I can easily plow the wall over. Four extra production. Electronics. Oh, a hand project that usually stops people from going to war with you. You know, nuclear annihilation and everything. Let's put the tank down. Here. Tanks. So he has caught up from two cities. Yeah, it's interesting how these like just like so little cities and so little everything that they can always just catch up. Like next to nothing. Yeah, it's about the best I'll get. I can already rush these wonders are so cheap, I don't need to rush a wonder. Well not rush a wonder, but um like use the great builder to rush the wonder. Yeah, when you have this many cities you have to select a lot of things. Settle in there. Yeah, mostly the usually the threat of nuclear annihilation tends to do it. Usually I'm not this aggressive in Civ games, but in this game you have to play a lot different and it's really annoying. Then generally people online are just naturally way more aggressive and will get in your way to stop you from getting a culture victory, so oh I shouldn't have put it here, I misjudged it. Here would have gotten me the gotten me the whale, so I could put it here on the cattle and then still do it. Whoops. Whoa. I think I can build um UN now. Yep. Okay, the one thing the Romans should not be able to do is build like victory wonders at tw half the cost. Like I understand that's their whole civ bonus and everything, but the way that like getting the end game thing that you can't rush with great builders or anything seems a little unfair, I guess. Because it it would be it could be possible to even I'm not 100 percent sure on it. Although I know you'd be able to do it with like uh, having someone complete the wonder and then. Uh, be able to like store extra wonder production and then turn that into a one turn wonder but because I know if you have like a slightly high enough population like a really big city have lots of mountains around you know everywhere and put it on production only focus 
usually you can um uh, you, can have, you know usually you could you might be able to do it in one turn that's i can't guarantee that but you know it's a possibility so let's actually do that 68 not bad could switch to communism to speed it up a little but i'll be fine because you get lots of production but you don't get like your temples and cathedrals shut down so you lose like all your culture Almost all your culture. Nuclear power. I mean, I can get rubber from the automobile tech, but I'll just get the extra production for every city instead of just one. But when I'm done recording this, I'll record some other uh, footage and stuff. Just to help out. Very right, sophisticated, that's right. And here's a boat to prove it. Alright. And you can kind of see it being built in the background. So glad I got rid of Egypt because they were right there and like Rome was what right uh it was down here which means Egypt could have easily blocked me off from a lot like so much so I had to deal with them early anyway also it's weirdly blurry sometimes I don't know why it does that but here's some units partying I guess it's a lot more fun when you see like the tank and artillery do it yeah there we go Also, I noticed something kind of funny. Every tank seems to have the North Korean star on it as, like, the flag. It's kind of a weird, funny thing. But, ah. And the battleships kind of do it. Settlers do it. So this is how we grew over time. I kind of already surpassed everybody pretty early. And so that's that. That's a deity culture victory with the Romans. So we go to the main menu and then give the usual sign off. And there's the culture victory icon right there. So I guess, as always, if you guys have any feedback, please let me know through comments or messages or however you want to do it. Um, if you'd like to see more Civ Civilization Revolution or Civ Rev for short, or anything else that I do have available on the Xbox, uh, please let me know. Or let me know if you want to see more Macs, or if just, you just want to see a certain game, I'll try to get it done, get it recorded and uploaded and stuff like that. But, but yeah, so that was Civ Rev, and I guess as always, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.